What's up, y'all? Welcome to Jigging with Jason. Okay, so yesterday we went to Bayou Sherman. I caught a couple of slabs, you know. So today I thought I'd do a, a cleaning and cook. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean them. And I'm going to bake mine uh, in the oven because... You know, a lot of people don't know I do have congestive heart failure, so I try to stay away from a lot of fried foods. So give me a minute to show you how I clean them and uh, how I season them up real good and throw them in the oven with some macaroni and cheese. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So this is my catch from yesterday. I did pretty good. So what I'm about to do, clean the ones, all of them. Then I'm going uh, freeze dry the rest that I don't eat, put them up for a later day, and I'll be right back. Y'all, so what we gonna do is grab our trusty spoon. <laughs> Everybody know this is a fishing food, uh, a scaling food. Get your spoon, we're gonna knock the scales off of it. Everybody don't clean their fish the same way, you know, so depends on how you like yours. Just got to get all that under there. Scales. Bucket. Rinse them off. So I'm gonna take the blue beads to the car wash after this. That's why I'm cleaning them at on the back of my truck. Trust the fillet knife. Starting the hole. Work your way up. I come behind this gear right here and come down. Go behind this gear, come down. What I do is hold it up like that, come behind that gear, behind the head. like that give a quick little snap Pop. everything come out at one time clean this out in the bucket rinse it out Y'all, yeah, these gonna taste so good, baked. I even heard some people say they put theirs on the grill. I've been trying to find a recipe for that, but to no avail, I haven't seen one. So if anybody out there got recipes of putting these on the grill and uh, grilling them, let me know. Put it in the, you know, in the link. Uh, send me a comment and let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? Then come back, you make the small slits on it. On both sides. Alright, on to the next one. Give me a few, I'm gonna get these cleaned up and I'll be right back. Go ahead, prepare yourself. Okay, y'all. I'm a huge fan of lemon pepper seasoning. Out uh, of lemon pepper and black in the season, lemon pepper is my favorite. So the way I'm going to do this today is I'm going to bake them instead of fry them. All right, I'm going to season them good with the lemon pepper, put a pat of butter on them and some thyme. Throw them in the oven uh, at 350 
for about 30, 35 minutes and I have my water boiling for my macaroni and cheese. So uh, I should have went to the store and got something to make me a good salad, but I didn't. So, you know, but uh, this is the way you want to season them real good. Both sides. Lemon pepper is so good. I can't lie. It's, it's so good. Uh, you want to watch out when you're eating pan fish like Sacolay, Brim, uh, Goggle Eye, aka Warmouth, because they have bones in them. I do not recommend giving this to a small child unless you debone it. Uh, yeah, this is going to be so good. I can tell you now. So, I'm going to be the judge of that. You know, I'm going to season them up real good, like I say. Put them in some aluminum foil. Pat of butter. Time on top. I wish I had some dill. Dill is even better. So, now I got them seasoned. Take your aluminum foil. Lay it down. Sacrament on top. Your pat of butter. Put that on top. Wrap it up. What you want to do is try and make a little pocket with it. So, wrap it up like that. And the reason why I do this is because it cooks in its own juices, makes it real nice, and the meat comes out flaky. So the next thing I like to do with Sagalay, uh, redfish, speckled trout, black drum, sheephead, take them, put them in a pot, boil them, and make fish tacos. I think that's gonna be my next video, fish tacos. So yeah, you do it like this. The next one. And yesterday we went to Bayou Sherman. For y'all who don't know where that's at, that's on the backside of Lake Verrett. Nice spot. Got some nice ones, some real nice ones. Uh, I had my partner AJ out there with me. I had my other partner out there with me. Mr. Go Get Em from Go Get Em TV, AKA Mr. Double Clutch. You know, go check that bar at Go Get Em TV. And Jiggle with Jason. Yeah, you know, you gotta go to Jiggle with Jason. You know what I'm saying? But me and my partner, we support each other. It's, a, it's brotherly love, you know what I'm saying? We both trying to excel in what we do. So, give me a few minutes. Let me get these all together, and I'll be right back. And I'm gonna hopefully... Okay, y'all, so it's been about that time. Get ready to pull them out the oven. Show you what it look like. Ooh, good old steam coming out of there. All right. So, I left her in the aluminum foil all day. Well, not all day, as long as I was cooking them. Got my good old macaroni and cheese right here. Oh, yeah. Good dough strawberry lemonade, y'all. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I'm about to plate it up. Give me a second. Okay, y'all. So, I'm about to pull it out of the aluminum foil. And this is what. It looks like Let's good piping hot baked sackley. I mean, it took for how long, Jason? How long uh, I had it in the oven for about an hour. It's been an hour? Just to make, yeah, just to make sure that it was done. That's that dirty mac and cheese Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. I want to give you other than what say. So we have baked, sacolet baked for about an hour with lemon pepper on it, correct, Jason? Correct. So go and check him out. Like I said, Jiggy with Jason has a YouTube channel. I can burn his hand. He has a YouTube channel. Uh, go and check him out. Jiggy with Jason. Everything you want to know about fishing. Have a great day, you guys. And there we have it. Baked sacolay with lemon, lemon pepper seasoning with macaroni and cheese. Till next time, y'all be blessed, be safe, like, subscribe, share, comment.
Thank you for tuning in. Love y'all. Peace.